In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. Michael have settled, but um, by all accounts, they learned about this at the same time as the rest of us. Did they? And in fact, the, the British, yeah, and, and uh, apparently so. And apparently Prince Harry's going to reach out to her. I mean, look, they, she was like a big sister to him mm. um, before, in, in the before times. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously whatever's gone down has gone down. Um, but they did publicly wish Kate health and healing. I personally always read something into the fact that they seem to be unable to use her royal title or call her uh, the Princess of Wales and is, uh, it always insist on using Kate. But there we are. To all my beautiful subscribers, it's free to subscribe for people because many of you have asked me how much it costs to subscribe. Subscribing is free. If you want to become a member, you can choose your level. It goes up to $3, I think, or some $4. But to subscribe is free. So please make sure you still subscribe and like and share to make this channel grow and get the message and get the message to reach a wider audience and also please don't forget to follow me on Facebook because I do lives that I don't do here on YouTube because YouTube is a little bit restrictive um, so yeah thank you very much for always supporting the channel beautiful people yes beautiful people now the rats panic why Omid Scobi I don't even know why Com Omid Scabies would have access to that embargoed um, um, statement from the princess because that was only to royal uh, reporters and the press and he's no longer working for any press as far as I know and he shouldn't have been talking about it because the whole point was that it was embargoed so this shouldn't have leaked apparently it came from Rob Jobson and of course now he has to play the victim because where, when there was word circulating that an announcement was coming from the palace at, CPM, at 6 p.m. GMT, I tweeted an image of the time for followers to keep an eye out. But when the world and myself learned how serious the news ended up being, I removed the tweet to stop any speculation taking place underneath it. It is upsetting and disturbing to now see that post being portrayed as some sort of sick countdown by the mail and other outlets that quickly copied. I tried to shrug off lies like these, but this one was too disgusting to ignore. He put that tweet as an alarm thing and he knows what he did. Now he's trying to gaslight the world because it backfired. And of course, of course, of course, Chris Ship. Ah, uh, Prince Harry has reached out to his brother, Prince William, after learning of Catherine's can Kate's cancer, because of course they call her Kate, a name she doesn't like. Harry and Meghan have both been in touch with their brother, sister-in-law, but did so privately. If it was private, how do you know about it? How do you know that they've been in touch with them? No, they were not in touch with him. They have reached out to Kensington Palace because they no longer have the number for Catherine, Princess Catherine and Prince William. So it is not clear if that was a phone, video call or some messages of support. <laughs> People on here shrieking, leave Kate alone when they have spent the past few weeks spewing insane conspiracy theories about her is beyond parody. Shut up. You shameless hypocrites, says the man, says the man who went on DMZ. Please just watch the next clip when I finish this little bit of the video. 
watch him on TMZ of all places that he went on to spew the conspiracies. He even did a video saying Harry and Meghan, maybe they were right. This truly breaks my heart, guys. Now TMZ is, you know, they have removed the video. Where is Kate Middleton? Why are they removing it if everything was okay and it's not a nasty thing? Why? Yeah, that's Megan. Hillary, hilarious. This is from Megan Narcissist 1. But I, it's absolutely spot on. It's absolutely spot on. Yes, and now all the left-wingers, they're trying to give weak apologies. She didn't post it on a permanent Instagram thing like she did her other pictures. It was in her stories. I am sure no one cares today. Absolutely right. No one really cares. Nobody ever, not only today. Nobody cares about you. That's why you haven't gotten any decent roles. Um, but I feel like I have to acknowledge this. I have... I made a silly post around the fo Photoshop fails frenzy and oh man, that post has me mortified today. So it's only today when she found out, not when she made that really mean post. I am sorry, sending love and well wishes to all always. I'm going to keep this video clean, guys. Now look what Ivanka Trump posted for Princess Catherine. You can pause it and read. Compare this. And the family. The, the family is very telling, guys, because the family distances themselves from them. Kate and the family, they know that Princess Catherine hates that name. She loves her name, Catherine. You know? And they don't use her title because she is a royal unlike them. And of course, we have James Middleton, you know, what an amazing man with his little, with his big sister. And everybody, everybody in the entire world, even King William, that idiot, that idiot, that idiot married to Maxima. William pulled out a King Constantine's of Greece memorial service at St. Andrew, St. George's Chapel because of Princess Wells' cancer diagnosis. That's when he found out that his darling wife had cancer. Now, after the princess posted her video, these are the level of sugars we're dealing with. A papa lips, now, if you know this person on, on, and you're an ex, please go report this account. Because this is no longer bullying, this is literally virtual abuse. We're seeing virtual abuse, online abuse, virtual abuse. I'm happy that they found someone slightly competent to craft this deep fake video. I kid you not. Now, you want to know who started, in my very humble opinion, the Rose Hanbury um, rumor affairs? In 2017, Harry attended his first state banquet uh, for, actually, of all people, King Felipe visiting. And guess who his companion was for the evening? Supermodel Rose Hanbury. Yep, sitting right next to him. And Megan was livid with fury because she had not been invited. Because she was a girlfriend. She had not been invited. So what did she do? She put out rumors that she's the one, in my humble opinion, who started this. Yep, look at the beautiful Rose with Harry. She's smiling because probably he's telling her something funny. Yep. Little did we know that that skank would start what she did. One of the things that struck me is if she is this ill, recovering from whatever she's recovering from, doesn't it seem odd that she's leaning over a desk uh, editing a photo? None of it makes sense. Why, if she's not able to fulfill any public duties, is she taking all this time on a Friday night and Saturday to self-edit a picture, which is hugely important, that picture. It's amazing. It's amazing, beautiful people, how the news. Did you notice that when Meghan Markle and Harry were not told, nor Omid Scobie, um, there were no leaks. And the only leaks that happen are because apparently Rob jo Jobson, I think, 
told Omid Scobie that there were going to be some news dropping off at 6 p.m. because Rob Jobson, from what I've seen, is a complete, a complete waste of space. He's a disgusting person. But no leaks. They're out in the cold. And they put that ridiculous statement. I'm still waiting for Meghan Markle to put out the statement about her father's heart attack and stroke, which I haven't heard. She said any comments about that? No statements? No? No? But must really hurt them that nobody, nobody told them. And they were left in the dark. Because as you, as you just saw, they didn't know. They found out just like the rest of everybody. And now everybody's rushing to delete tweets, videos, even Pierce Morgan. You saw him in that little TMZ thing. Yet he's the loudest voices calling everybody else hypocrites and conspiracy theorists when he was one of the bigger, louder voices voices. He still even did a video said maybe Megan and Harry, Harry and Megan were right. Remember that? I think many of you came in and gave him a lot of backlash here. Okay. It is absolutely appalling and disgusting, but it goes to show you, you know, when Shallon Lester said as soon as Meghan Markle came to the palace, leaky ship, leaky ship. I mean, and, and if the stories were not real, they were made up, but they were fed by Meghan Markle. Absolutely, because we see a post and after from Harry and Meghan Markle being part of the royal family. Being part of the royal family. It is absolutely disgusting. And I'm, I'm for once, it shows that they were out, completely out. It is heartbreaking to see what the princess, but she's had the last laugh. Princess Catherine in this channel, we're only going to talk positive. I am actually going to do a video um, this, um, you know, about her body language and that two minute clip that has turned the world upside down it's blown that literally broke the internet a lady poised with class sitting yes she read off the script I saw, I saw some people reading off this yes because she had to keep you know otherwise you tend to get emotional you will see my channel get emotional by the way I apologize if I get emotional a lot but yes we've seen that so you see the difference and we're going to start seeing now Meghan Markle reached out to the princess, reached out. They called. They're in contact. When is this woman going to stop exploiting Princess Catherine's cancer diagnosis? We will soon see a pap walk. The Duchess spotted after her sister's-in-law uh, diagnosis. Uh, Prince, uh, Meghan Markle talks after Catherine's. I mean, when will it end? When will it end? It goes to show you that it never does. But I am glad Princess Catherine had the last laugh. But I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Why Omid Scobie is still getting press releases when he's not even part of the Royal Rota and he's not even uh, aff affiliated with any newspaper because I have a lot of friends of mine who are journalists and they didn't get those news. It's only like the media that got it. They didn't send it out to individual journalists. So it's actually insane if you think about it. And I'm glad he's getting called out for it. But let's not forget who the hypocrites were here. Because we were wondering, in this channel, I wonder what the hell was wrong with her. Because I was worried. We have never mocked her. We have called out Meghan Markle for her lying, skanky ways. But there's a big difference between that and what she does with her Sussex squad. But what do you guys think? What, who do you think leaked to Omi Scobie? That there was going to be an announcement because apparently they they knew that this announcement was coming on on wednesday and it should have been embargoed nobody should have known about this and yet this they started speculating and i believe this is because omid scoby chris ship uh were told about that there was some big news coming on that day because we saw the date but they didn't know what it was but they were told by someone And Meghan Markle, and what was Harry doing at that Black Kinsey event? What is Harry doing there? What is, I mean, worse off, what is Meghan doing there? I'm going to do a video about that because <laughs> that, that's insane. But yeah, who do you think told Omi Scobie? Aren't you glad that Princess Catherine had the last laugh, even in those dire circumstances? But it proves that when Meghan is not around, no leaks come out.